Hi, today I will do a flip through of my current planner. I'm using a Moterm um, taupe, A7 size, so it's pocket. And this was the Lux 30 millimeter ring, but today I changed them to 25. And I actually realized how stuffed it was right before I changed them, but I think I can make it work. I'm trying to carry less and with the bigger rings they fill up more quickly making my bag heavier and it's just a little thing that I can do so it looks pretty nice before it was kind of like making a triangle shape like that which I did not care for okay so yeah this is the a7 size and basically this is laminated uh, dried flowers kind of rough and ready I just I've had these flowers for a long time and I wanted to use them and then this is basically a blank card that I laminated I plan to mm, use it for like a recurring task type of thing like that like a task card essentially maybe I also have other ideas okay so right in the front is where I always keep my daily pages I like to just scribble them from scratch and this is some paper that I cut down from a six size it's I think it's from Amazon and maybe three or four different styles super cute I like this one <clears throat> so yeah cut that down I usually will just write an hourly breakdown some to do's notes this is immediately my to-do list. So like my running list for any given day or like a long-term running list. Like this was some different things I wanted to put in my planner. I've been making this list for a while. Um, I just keep right here. It's kind of like brain dump. Let's see, blank pages for the brain dump. And then right here I have like my personal section this is <clears throat> this is sort of an old mood board that I had made. I really like the way it looks. I love the colors, how it came out. Might need to update it, but yeah, it's um I think I made it for this year. So I must have made it in November. I made it a while ago. And then um just some notes. Personal stuff plans for my um, social media. Um, here I have a weekly principle for Q2. It was a freebie from Nada Notes. Nada, like Nada. And um, yeah, they're, they're very cute. They seem efficient. I messed up some of the hole punching. <laughs> Um, I was going so quickly that I didn't realize I still had my punch set to the personal setting and I just punched, you know. So here's just a little bookmark that I made to kind of keep my place. And I think I originally had this clipped back to back with the monthly, but I'm kind of needing to plan ahead a few weeks. I really do appreciate when it's dated it's very nice to, well, both, it's very nice to have a blank, undated, like, breakdown of the days that you can reuse, but it's also very relief-inducing, um, I don't know, it's, what's the word, like, relieving, it's comforting to have it all already done, and then you can just, you know, go as far as you need to, so I have all the way until June here. And then I have these uh, monthly one-page inserts that I got on Etsy. It says, I'm not sure how to pronounce this or like if it's just an abbreviation. Um, D-O-A-A -A Designs, Do-A Inspired or something like that. Um, yeah, I have them all printed. They are really nice looking and they have trackers and then there's an overview for the year i love that clean but bold look this is 
a 2022 overview, also from Nada Notes, that I'm using kind of to break down projects. Like I'm helping my sister. I kind of consider a big event, anything I'm planning that takes more than like 10 steps, that's a project. And my sister's gonna have her 15th birthday celebration, so those are kind of what I'm gonna be putting into the calendar. This is just um, brainstorming. I think this is my ooh, capsule wardrobe. So I just made a little space for my different lists right after the projects. So just some ideas um, off the top of my head, thinking of like what I owned. Picture for my family section. I'm keeping this little sticky note holder I guess that I made it was like a card holder I just kind of use it for whatever it serves as a bookmark also so I can get to like a shopping list or meal planned for the week I'll write that out um, some notes and like homeschooling plans that I just basically migrated this is also from Nana notes and it's um, Stardew Valley reference sheets she's so awesome for making these um, they're just for reference. In the game, you can sell the produce from your farm, or um, you can sell things that you find around, like that you forage. She's got the value and where to find everything, which is awesome. And then here I have um, more specific projects broken down. Here's a quote I just laminated these because they really uh, make a difference for mindset and that's kind of what I want to keep in mind when I'm working towards a longer, uh, long-term goal. My sister's birthday, so much to do. I'm working on centerpieces right now. More brainstorming paper. And then here I have Finances. So I sold two little purses on Mercari that I don't want to forget about. And um, it takes a while for the money to come through. But yeah, I just made a note real quick. And then I have, um, I kind of scribbled out our bills. I'm going to make a master sheet with them. That way I don't write them in every month. But I'm working on changing the dates and also, um, you know, just making changes all around. So I'll adjust my inserts as I need to. Some notes on my um, oh, passwords and stuff. Okay, this is just an area for notes. And then back here I have my cash envelope. I actually need to take the money to the bank so that I can get it in the correct denominations for the envelopes for this coming week. And this is kind of bulking it up a lot. I love the whole point of this size was to have a combo wallet and planner, but it's been so big and I hate pulling it out just to pay for something. So I might use these mini envelopes that I made. They're identical, but they are like micro size and they fit in this teeny little card wallet that I used to use. So I might do that. Uh, anyways, back here I have birthday voucher for <laughs> my little stepdaughter. She got a coupon for a hundred dollars. I also have stickers and another quote I'll be putting in somewhere. I think I found these at Michael's and they're adorable. These two. <clears throat> Let's see, and then in here I think I have my AAA card and um, another debit card. I also keep some blank uh, index cards, note cards, because you never know. Sometimes I like to let the kids just draw on these. And a thank you card. I don't, um, I guess I don't have an envelope with it, <laughs> but again, you never know. 
um, floor plan for my sister's party venue. So, yeah, this is how it currently looks. I might change it. I don't know how I feel about this or this. I'm just not used to things showing. I don't like, I like it to be like very clean and simple. Um, but it doesn't look bad. And I'm going to make some dividers out of this, this um, sheet of vellum that I laminated. So instead of having to kind of remember what everything is, I'll actually have dedicated dividers. Maybe. I've never had that. <laughs> like in any planner. I... I try it and then I just I'm like oh I'll know I know what that is or I'm like just just get me there like it's some clear thing that I'll remember what that does you know anywho um and then this is my gel pen friction pen and friction highlighter I'm gonna try and carry this around I'm not I haven't really used it yet or needed it I just um I just set this up basically so this is what it currently looks like Hey, thank you for watching. Happy planning.